Rock Sounds at Radio Memphis from the Black Static Record in 1620 Eccles Street here on this Tuesday. 16 minutes past the hour in the midst of the nooner. Coming up, that guy, this guy. Prime time. We're going to run up to that. We'll be uh, perusing through some science news here before too long. Yes. Probably find something relatively alarming, maybe. I don't know. Man, yesterday's was kind of alarming. What, about the rock? Is that yeah. what it was? was that, that they it? declassified it? Was that what it was? I don't remember what. I Dude, I don't remember. I don't remember what we I started we the did, show with. I, if it wasn't for the fact that this thing has a calendar on, I wouldn't I, be able to know what today I is. I know. What's yeah. your name? I, I don't even remember I your name. I don't know. Yeah, I just, <laughs> <laughs> where am I? Oh, it's all disposable here. <laughs> it is. Point. None of this really matters. Uh, Which is weird because when the stuff winds up on YouTube later... It's always news to me. Yeah, right, right. You know, I was like, well, wow, you we know, did that. Huh? I don't necessarily always go and watch the things that you post, but yeah. I do. Yeah. I, I, Mostly what I do is I'll watch it and critique myself. Well, <laughs> I'm like, oh, hey. Ooh, that, I'll see oh, that stuff whoa, whoa, whoa. and go, wow, we yeah. did that. And then it's, wow, that was funny. I find it funny. Yeah. How did that happen? But uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you screw up and you find yourself in a good situation. I, guess. <laughs> I know. I, you know, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, go to uh, YouTube, search Radio Memphis, and you can find our page up there. We're adding videos every day, uh, daily uploads uh, from this program. We'll have more coming along the way. We'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, yeah, you know. Still, I'm refreshing news stuff. I just, I'm, I'm really curious about what happened in the subway in New York. Yeah, that's a, that's a big thing right now. It's a real fluid situation. And it's got me They're trying to sort it all out. Yeah, you know, slightly concerned for folks up there and and yeah. what that was and who that was. I think it was just a madman with a with a couple of I hope. smoke grenades and uh, I hope that's and a all pistol. it was. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully they'll be able to find this knucklehead and uh, do to him what needs to be done, such as it may be. Yeah, you know. So far, nobody died that we're aware of yet. Right, so right. 16 I, people taken to the hospital? Well, 16 it's, shot? it's uh, 16 injured, 10 shot. And those numbers are all changing. Well, yeah, from people get source to source. During, you know, panic, you know, stampedes right, and things right. like that, yeah, you know, that, yeah. that occur. So, you know, that, that's a that's a thing. Or people, you know, tripping and falling. And, you know, imagine yourself in a situation where you can't see anything and you're trying to get out. Right. And you know a pistol in a subway is probably a very loud thing. Loud. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's this. Obese diners will be asked to leave a naked restaurant because it could be miserable for other visitors. That seems discriminatory. It's a place called the Amrita Restaurant, which Where is this? In Tokyo, Japan. Oh. And it says that anyone 30 pounds above the average weight for their height will not be allowed to dine. Wow. That's shitty. <laughs> it hasn't opened yet. Ah. What do you do if you have a world famous sumo wrestler who shows up? I'm sure they have their sumo area. You think they're gonna tell him, "Hey, dude, you sorry, can't pal, come in here." Okay, they're chunky. Dude, carry it somewhere just, else. Yeah, I'll throw your ass. <laughs> uh, the restaurant, which opens on July the 29th, will ask guests to check in their clothes and put on paper underwear when they arrive. This is stupid. This that's is that, just that's why stupid. we're talking about this. Uh, anyone who is thought to be above the average weight for their height will be weighed and ejected if deemed too tubby. Those who are asked to leave will not be refunded. It's a pay up front joint. No. Fuck that. No. <laughs> Miki, oh, we saw you too fat. Miki Kamatsu is the spokeswoman for Emrita, said that if fat people are allowed in, it could be miserable for some guests. Shallow much? <laughs> um, Tell you what, eating around naked people could make it miserable, Period. They're wearing paper underwear. What's the well, problem? Well, then why go in naked? So you can wear paper underwear. I don't want to wear paper underwear.
toilet paper underwear. Guests can see the guidelines clearly on our homepage. We are aiming for a sort of Roman aesthetic, like the beautiful paintings you see in museums. Yeah, they had togas on, dumbass. Or did they? Well, they had togas when they were eating. I doubt I've they were standing around. Pompeii. there. Hey. Well, yeah, there are dicks in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. There's, 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 there's stone dicks in the streets. Do they have, so. Are they going to have a vomitorium as well? I they should. If it's going to be all Roman and stuff, which is like a, like a thing barfing full area. of feathers and you just go in. Yeah. Ah. There you go. People with tattoos are also banned from the restaurant. Oh, well, okay. I understand that because in Japan, they're, they're not big on tattoos. No, they're not. Uh, diners are asked not to cause a nuisance by touching or talking to other guests. Okay, you got to say that, then maybe this is a bad idea. If you have all of these restrictions Rules. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on on such a What's thing. the name of the restaurant? I'm going to look up the website. Uh, Amrita, A-M-R-I-T-A. Yeah, A-M-R-I-T-A, which is in Tokyo. Um, I, I, they don't have a link to the site or anything like that. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Amrita? I'm I'm shocked that the Japanese populace is even allowing this thing to be a thing. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> hey, it gets three and a half stars. <laughs> Cafe Amrita. <laughs> oh, it, no, really... this is the one in New York. Yeah. Oh, there's one in New York. But, no, it's Cafe Amrita. It's a different place. Oh, no, yeah. you have to wear yeah. pants yeah, in there, yeah, I would think. Yeah, probably there. so. Uh, who knows? Yeah, no, Maybe they're deciding different. not to open. I, but I don't Amrita know. Restaurant, yeah, and there are naked people eating right there. No, oh, okay, all right. You got to no. be careful if you order the soup. You know, you could spill it on yourself. You might have a problem. Wow. Now, uh, the, now the, the, here's a guy I don't think they should allow in. Well, see now you're I mean, now uh, you're no. being judgy. No, 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 no. You don't know how tall they by go. their <laughs> by their rules. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's like a boob. <laughs> well, that's what you're going to find when people are eating naked. Yeah, I don't want distractions like that. All right, my question is this. Are the waiters naked? We've talked about this before with that naked chef down in Florida. And yeah. If, if the Hold servers, on, I'm looking. If I'm the, looking. <laughs> that's the only way to find out. If the servers are naked, I don't think I'm going to want to be around that anyway. I mean, I know they, they probably would make them wear a hairnet, but... Uh, uh, wouldn't that be a jock strap too? Uh, or some shoes, maybe, perhaps. I don't want to be seated at a, at a table with a naked waiter coming around me and okay, all of a sudden no. I'm eye level with, you know, the end of time. And you thought... What? And you thought a fly in your soup was bad. Yeah. <laughs> let's, get the, let's get the waiter's testicles out of my soup, please. Yeah. I didn't order the tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's gazpacho, and it's at the correct temperature because my balls are in it. <laughs> no. Wow. No, 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 no. This no. is just weird. It looks like the waiters are wearing paper shorts or something. Yeah, something like uh, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least I got that going for them. Oh, you know, these the, people are not wearing paper underwear, though. The Japanese traditionally are a very, not really conservative, but they're... They're and they're they're kind somewhat, of somewhat. They're kind of they modest, are. at least. They are. You know, they are somewhat. You know, they're they're uh, they're a civilized people. They oh, there's one opening in London. Oh, fantastic! Oh, great! British food served to yeah, naked people. Yeah, what the hell? That's, British food is horrible. So is the Queen gonna show up? Ah. <laughs> You're being awfully judgy. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine her tits in her suit. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure she's fairly sensible enough to, like, protect that from happening. Uh, she is a big-breasted broad, uh, you know, such as such as she is. <laughs> uh, Oops. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dog over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Turn that mic off. Oh, my. Thank you so much. No, no. It's going to be gray food and naked British people. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind naked British women, but uh, I don't want to eat food while there are naked people around me. I know. We've talked about this before, but because it's, it's just, done here in the States, down in Florida. Yeah. You remember the, the, the chef? The chef. Yeah. yeah that, and and this and look what happens. You get 
splatters and whatnot. Speckles. Well, then again, it's Japanese food. It's uh, it's a little different. Yeah, that's I'm true. Not that I'm basing everything on sushi, but right, or sashimi, right. but I'm sure they've got you know or they've got hot pot and stuff like that. Miso yeah. soup yeah. and yeah. Uh, yeah. fried wontons. Mm. Chinese. That's Chinese. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't. I know. I'm with you. I don't know that I want to be hanging out in a restaurant where everybody's naked. It just, uh, it just doesn't really. It would put me off my appetite, which I guess is sort of the point of having right. this weight restriction thing on there. Hey, check out the fat guy over there, at table twelve. Hey, look what he got. Look, <laughs> he's been eating here for a long time. And you can't have a buffet if there's nudity around. That's just, that's just not going to work. No, because you know balls will be dragged through. No, oh, of course it will. At that point, <laughs> well, yes, it's at the right level. <laughs> it, uh, yes, you gotta have a sneeze shield and a crotch shield. So it's like going to Piccadilly at that point. You you, <laughs> you have to tell the guy behind the counter what you want. You know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's that's how that would work. You have a pube shield and a, a sneeze. No, shield. no, 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 no. We don't need all of this. And somebody might get too overly excited about things, and we just can't have that. <laughs> yeah, no. I think it's. I think it's. Uh, you want a naked restaurant? Go to a nudist uh, place and and go to your own kitchen. Or, well, no. If you wanted to, I just think a restaurant's silly. Other people sit in those chairs, you know. And I don't know that paper underwear. That's is what to be. You know. Well, does cloth really keep it all? I feel better about. Uh, it. I feel much, much better about There's it. There's usually too. several layers of, of cloth. cloth correct. So kind of how that's supposed to work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there's a enough, reason huh? we don't use paper diapers for infants. Well, yes, because they don't work. Why would and they're you too use young them for to adults? Write? Well, that's true. Yeah, you can't draw on them. It's no. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that before you put them on. Though. Yeah. Oh yeah. You gotta well, put, actually, yeah. wait a minute. Here's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Paper bras and panties, and let me come design them. Well, yeah. All, you know, guys, the only thing they would do is they just draw little dicks all over them.